here we are at the first one guy came out and uh, he said we don't open while seven o'clock so i said yeah that's fine he said i'll let you in just go park at the top but uh even all the drivers pointing at the watches when i was coming in like my god what's he doing here this early well trying to get deliveries off mate that you wouldn't take off yesterday but anyway we're here and uh we're ready and waiting for him hell of a queue coming back into Wilminster this morning this is um maybe a mile maybe maybe just a bit more anyway uh got the second one off in chad double quick time uh, real good four truck driver there pulled straight in a bit awkward to get to because it was sort of off a roundabout and anyway got in got tipped uh two minutes past eight i think it was i was pulling out uh it's routed me back up now onto the m5 to head south rather than cutting across country it, i checked it out on the map uh and it's saying that this road is quicker because i'm going to end up on the motorway rather than and looking at these queues I, I would have had to queue at a couple of roundabouts on the way down so that's that's good uh it's saying i should be there in about three quarters of an hour which would be nine o'clock <coughs> i was hoping to be empty by 10 but uh, maybe half an hour before that and then find out what the boys have got for me there we go quarter past 10 uh, quarter past nine sorry quarter past nine tipped empty heading back to the motorway um i'm guessing i beat the guys with it being a uh, bank holiday because they haven't got anything for me as yet though they suspect it's going to be north so i'm heading up towards bristol which will uh, they've asked they've asked me to head north and give them a ring in an hour so i'm not going to be in bristol in an hour anyway so i can ring them south of bristol and whatever they have got i can drop straight on to so here we are just going to join the M5, head north, find some at the park, and get some into Scran. Here we are in Portbury Dock, looking for Forest Products Terminal. Oh, there's one of ours over there. Uh, yeah, looking for Forest Products Terminal and uh, the rather helpful policewoman said it's up here. So I'll go up here, hand in my reference number and hopefully get loaded pretty sharpish. Shed 4. I'm sure I saw one of ours in there. Now that's us loaded at Portbury Dock, uh, 140 miles up to my drop point in Leicester, just short of three hours. Managed to squeeze in a 15 minute break while I was there. Um, the good thing is that we're straight on to the motorway here two minutes after you come out of the dock, so that's uh, that's good. We can the get moving sharpish. Um, I still haven't had anything to eat, I'm starving now. I'm gonna do probably an hour, hour and a half, which will leave me two hours, maybe just over to go. Uh, and then once I've had my break, I'll be, I should be good to go exit. up to Leicester, the rest of the way to Leicester, tip and across, I'm guessing, I'll be loading out of the Pallet Network Hub. Um, so I should have enough time to do that without needing another break. But we'll see. Made it up to Hopwood Park again, where I stopped on the way down yesterday for a break. Uh, just got there in four and a quarter hours driving for the morning. So I wasn't worth pushing any further. Uh, had a bit of a break there, and we're now on the outskirts of Leicester where our drop point is 4.8 miles away. Should be there just before four o'clock and we'll see what happens when we get there. Well, what a terrible place to tip. Absolute shower, no organization. Um, oh yeah, 
go and park outside driver where it's all WL lines and everywhere's full already mate yeah yeah go find somewhere and then walk back and uh, book in and then they give you the paperwork and you have to write down everything that's already on the delivery note because the lazy fork truck driver can't be bothered anyway got that tipped and uh, just to make matters worse wherever you try and go in Leicester at rush hour is like this particularly if it involves the ring road it's just chaos it's an absolute nightmare of a place to get in and out of uh, yeah, anyway um, I'm 46 miles away from the pallet network hub as I as I guessed correctly I need fuel it's half past five and I need to be there for seven o'clock to be able to have nine off and load at four o'clock in the morning right got fuel got a drop of ad blue and just dropping onto the a38 from the a50 heading to Burton on Trent to get parked up I wanted to be there for seven o'clock I've got uh, 8.3 miles to go and it's 25 to 7 so I've got 25 minutes to do eight miles there we go spot on got here 10 to 7 just sort my paperwork out, a couple of bits and bats, and uh, I'll be booked off for seven o'clock. What I normally do with my sat nav is set it to uh, tomorrow morning's destination. Da -da -da, there we go. Just calculating it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we can go that way. And then turn it off. Just saves me a job in the morning. And then a couple of bits of uh, paperwork to sort out. Start time, finish time, enter it in my diary, and then get some tea and get some rest. Please uh, don't forget, hit the subscribe button. Um, and uh, if you click the bell icon, you'll get notified of when I put a new video up, which at the moment with these vlogs is daily. Anyway, thanks for watching today. Catch you tomorrow.